when it comes to iconic southern dishes fried chicken undoubtedly takes center stage its golden crispy goodness is beloved across the united states and beyond however for individuals managing diabetes fried chicken may seem like a dietary reform but don't worry with a few simple adjustments you can transform this classic comfort food into a diabetes friendly delight why is fried chicken bad for diabetics while fried chicken may be a flavorful indulgence its potential impact on blood sugar levels and overall health is a cause for concern the combination of processed carbohydrates from the batter and inflammatory fats from low quality cooking oils can lead to elevated blood sugar levels and contribute to weight gain for individuals with diabetes weight gain can worsen the condition and increase the risk of heart disease making moderation is essential the nutritional comparison Let's take a closer look at the nutritional breakdown of different types of fried and grilled chicken to understand the stark differences. Per serving, fried chicken breast can have calories 300 g and carbohydrates 9 to 18 g. Per serving, grilled chicken can have calories 150 to 200 and carbohydrates 0 g. As the numbers reveal, grilled chicken regains supreme for those managing with diabetes. With significantly lower calories and zero carbs, it is a healthier choice that won't cause blood sugar spikes. But fear not, fried chicken lovers, for there are ways to make this beloved dish a little more diabetes friendly. Making fried chicken healthier. First, reduce carbs. Swap out regular wheat flour breeding for low carb alternatives such as almond flour and coconut flour. Ground nuts can also serve as a flavorful and nutritious coating. Avoid high carb grain based flours like wheat, rice, barley, oat and corn flour. Several low carb breeding options are available online expanding your choices. Second, skip the deep frying. Contrary to popular belief, you can still achieve a brown and crispy exterior without immersing your chicken in deep frying oil. Consider air frying your breaded chicken for a healthier alternative. Counter top air fryers or using air fryers setting on a toaster oven can produce delightful results. If an air fryer isn't available, using a regular oven with an air frying basket or perforated pan can achieve similar crispiness. Third, choose sauce wisely. Exercise caution when selecting dipping sauces or condiments to accompany your fried chicken. Many commercially available options are laden with hidden sugars. Opt for low sugar alternatives such as buffalo sauce, mustard or stevia sweetened ketchups. While finding low sugar barbecue sauce may be more challenging, they do exist. and you can even try making your own sauces at home at last with a few smart modifications fried chicken can become a satisfying and diabetes friendly option by reducing carbs choosing alternative cooking methods and selecting healthier sauces you can enjoy the comforting flavors of fried chicken while keeping your blood sugar levels in check Remember moderation is key and it is essential to pair your chicken with nutrient rich low carb sides like non starchy vegetables and whole fat dairy products so go ahead and savor the crispy delight of fried chicken while supporting your diabetes management goals thank you very much <laughs>